It's a dull, dreich afternoon at Burn Bray, but matches between the two teams, Ayrshire Bulls and the Stirling Wolves, are never anything other than close, usually a one-score game. There's an inevitability about this. You feel Cullen skips over, McPherson takes a direct line, McPherson goes to the line. Just over eight minutes in, and it's the captain who sets the benchmark. No surprise there then, the first score goes to the home team. Here come the Sterling Wolves. Straight through the middle, this is a great run. Great run all the way to the line, he's unstoppable. Momentum will take him there. And that's a great, what a response from the vice captain, Connor Gordon, within a minute minute and a half perhaps they've got themselves on the board good effort by James Tau oh and that's that's a difficult one now player clearly taken in the air the teams are level at seven points each referee reaches for his pocket it's a red card Big decision. It's the try scorer, Connor Gordon, given his marching orders. Out to the left on the other wing. Feeds it back. Oh, another, another big challenge. And that's a penalty try this time. A penalty try to the Ayrshire Bulls. It's all turning. It's been a horrific minute and a half, two minutes for Sterling. And there's a card to come here, a yellow card as well. A yellow card for Sterling to go with the red they've had and they're now down to 13 men. And of course, no conversion required. Here they come, they've got men over here, the skipper McPherson, through the hands. Back to McPherson, leaves it, however, and there's an open field here. Another score for the Bulls. Simple score, under the posts. It's number 12, Robert Beattie, with their third try. And another charge down this time at the other end. Ball falls neatly to the Bulls. Bulls going all the way, and this time they're in again. And it's Beatty with his second try, and that's the bonus point for the Ayrshire Bulls. And we're not even half an hour into this Foss Rock Super Series match at Burnbury. Out it comes, now a full back line into Holden. Jackson flattened in the middle and there's a card here as well now that's another big call Blair McPherson the captain of Ayrshire Bulls has been yellow carded Henderson and uh, maybe not just enough fit enough and a try out of nothing rumbling forward Here's our Bulls have picked up with the left off and it's their fifth try attacking from close in. Penalty coming for Sterling. Big run down the side. Oh, that's a great run. He's going to go all the way. That's all the way. That's another great solo effort. That's a great try for Sterling. It might be late, but it's well worth it. That was a great solo effort. And they've kept them down to one try apiece in this second half. Here's one of the changes which has worked, and that's putting the number 10 into the centre of the field because he's gone and got himself a score. Roderick Evans. With try number six for the Ayrshire Bulls. Bulls committing all the men they can. McPherson's hanging out. Another penalty coming for Sterling. They're on the line. They're over the line. Anybody's guess who got it down? But, uh, there we have it. They've managed to get a third try. So they won't want to stop at that. They'll want to go for try number four. Good tight. 
pack, break away and scored! Well, that was well well conceived, well executed. And that's their uh, seventh try. Rob McDowell has called no side. And that, as they say, is that here at Melbury, where the final score here at Melbury, a convincing win for the Bulls.